Uh, and one major theme was everyone really valued having people from the community come in and be part of the program as well. People out here, they're passionate, they are excited, they are engaged, they are living their dream and living their truth and they're out here just doing it every day for years and that's just so amazing and inspiring to see and I think it definitely impacted a lot of people's um, next moves in what they're doing and what they want to be doing. It's really cool. Yeah, that's well said. <laughs> As I reflect on my four seasons with the Wrangell Mountain Center, I am astonished at how much we have accomplished as an organization and as an extended family of creatives and inquiring minds. It's been a lot of work, and so many of you have stepped up and sacrificed. This summer, we continued the good work. We supported educational groups, short-term field classes from Alaska Pacific University, Uni the University of Southern California, and Anchorage High School students. We hosted four artists for our very popular artist in residence program, and our artists conducted workshops and lectures for our supporters and the local community. We put on a wide array of community programs, including author readings and workshops and youth programs like our Mountain Arts and Science for Youth and our annual geology camp hosted in partnership with Robin Mayo and our good friends at the Wrangell Institute for Science and Environment. We hosted a classical concert at the Kennecott Rec Hall featuring local classical guitarist Jurgen Agrodnik and professional musicians who performed modern classical pieces that were actually composed in the Wrangell Mountains the prior summer. That was a real treat. Storytelling enthusiasm continues to ramp up with another successful storytelling festival, as well as open mic word jams where we share stories, poetry, and music. We continued to catch up on our facilities projects alongside the construction of two new guest cabins. We made progress in our efforts of organizational rebuilding, and that's a good thing because next summer will be a heavy lift too as we resume our field studies program and reach full programming capacity. One thing that inspires me about the WMC right now is how our programs, events, and community connections ignite the imagination with alternative possibilities. In the face of so many discouraging and brutal news headlines, I find myself motivated to work for the WMC to create the spaces for imagining something different. Creating these spaces means connecting people with each other and connecting them with the wild world here in the Wrangles. It's all about the place. It's all about the place and the people and the many ways in which we can begin to think in new ways and do things in new ways. This place gives us that opportunity because there are a few things that are still true out here at the Wrangell Mountain Center. I felt like I really needed to step outside the world that I've been living in, step outside myself, and just try to be reabsorbed and heal kind of from everything that had been going on. So I kind of hope to gain, you know, the final ending point of my education, end on a high point. Um, I hope to gain some clarity within myself and just like heal physically and mentally from everything that had been going on. And I feel successful in that.